everyone! Today we are going to do sequence 3 all about me and my health. Let's begin! Yay! Task 1 My name, my mum is an English teacher. She is helping me at home to learn the English names of my body parts. I listen to her and fill in the blanks. Arm, hand, wrist, fingers, fingernail, toenail, foot, ankle, knee, thigh. Well done, Aya. In task five, we have, we have chest, Stomach, neck, and back. Thank you. Task seven. I listen to my partner's question and answer him or her using the names of the body parts I learned in tasks one, three, and five. Part between between the neck and the top of the arm. We call it shoulder. How do you call the join between the arm and and the hand? We call it wrist. How many fingers and toes do we have? We have five fingers in each hand and five toes in each foot. How do you call the join that helps fold our leg? We call it knee. What's the top part of the leg called? It is called the thigh. And the lowest part? It is called the foot. Thank you. Task 9. Amy, a 14-year-old English girl, feels a nagging pain in her belly this morning. Her mother takes her to the, to the family doctor. I listen to part 1 of the dialogue and complete the dialogue bubbles. Hello, Amy. You look or you are very pale. How do you feel? Not very well. I've got terrible pains in my belly. I also vomited up my dinner last night and I have the runs. You mean diary? Let me exam, examine or let me check you or let me see you. Oh, you have high temperature. What do you eat for dinner? Hmm, I ate, I ate a fast food restaurant with some friends of mine. I had a large pizza with extra cheese, a large portion or a large plate of chips, a large Coke and some ice cream for dessert or ice cream for pudding. Oh no, I wonder, no wonder then you threw up your dinner last night and you have a stomach ache, a stomach ache this morning. Task 11, I listened to part two of the dialogue between Amy and her doctor and complete the dialogue bubbles. Amy is sick or Amy is ill. Synonym of sick is ill. I still feel or I still have nauseous, like wanting to vomiting again. Listen, Amy, I am going to give you some medicine to ease the pain in stomach and stop diarrhea and vomiting but you 
should consult a, a dietitian, a specialist who will give you some good advice about what you should or shouldn't eat. Your overweight of 10 kilos. Thank you, doctor. Here's your prescription. The chemist will explain how you should take the medicine. I prescribe to you follow his instructions and take care of your health. Good. Bye, Amy. Goodbye, doctor. Task 14. I listen to my partner's question and ask, answer him or her using some of the new words I learned in task nine. Hi, you look pale and tired today. How do you feel? I'm not in good shape. What's the matter? I have a terrible headache. Did you see a doctor? Yes, I did. What did he say? He prescribed some medication and advised me to stop watching TV for a long time and eat healthy food. Thank you. Task 16. Amy followed her family physician advice about her weight problem and is now at the dietitian office. I listen to part one of the conversation and complete the information on Amy's medical card. So let's do Amy's medical card. First name, Amy. Surname, Morrison. Specialist name or doctor's name, Dr. Addison. Medical specialty, dietitian. Age, 14 years old. Height, 1.55 meters. Weight, 70 kilograms. Normal healthy weight, 40 to 60 kilos. Dangerous unhealthy weight, two or three more kilos. Health problem. Overnight, obviously. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, then comment down below. Okay, so we'll see you soon. Give a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below and hit that notification bell. Bye.